All right, come on in, hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 horror film called Five Nights at Freddy's based on the widely popular video game by the same name. This came out in theaters and on Peacock streaming app. I watched it last night on the streaming app uh, as I am on the west coast of North America. But here's the plot. A troubled security guard begins working at a Freddy's Fast Burger, Fast Beers uh, Pizzeria while spending his first night on the job. He realizes that the late shift at Freddy's won't be so easy to make it through. Now here is some of the cast. Now, I don't know much about the many versions of the game, or the main one, or the lore. But I thought the film story started out okay, but started to get a bit cluttered with dreaming sequences and character backstory. That wasn't need to be focused on that much compared to the robots. It had the creep factor, yes, but the kills wasn't shown and wasn't uh, many... Uh, but mostly barely any jump scares except for a couple of forced ones. I honestly prefer the backstory of the knockoff version with Nick Cage and the film as a whole. I personally wasn't in, uh, impressed with the writing of the film. It felt like they were they just grabbed an idea out of a hat and give this a story to make it into a film. The side characters acting felt like they wasn't even trying with some some of them. I also think the actor was just okay in this. The main actor, uh, I believe his he's from the Hunger Games franchise, and I wasn't feeling any chemistry between him and his sister. Um, and I don't know if it's his acting or if it's just the writing of the character. I'm kind of leaning towards the writing of the character. The only chemistry I felt was between him and the cop. Uh, here's my rating. I'll come back to my fault thoughts. In my opinion, the film was a big swing and a miss. It did have a couple of good dialogue scenes, but overall, it's just another Bloomhouse problematic written film. Um, but. As always, what is your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I, I don't know what to really think about what people would think of this. Because um, I really don't know about the lore or any of that stuff. So um, I am going to ask a question A or whatever you call them in the, uh, the community section. But uh, either way, in the comments below, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm actually very, very curious if you guys liked this. If you thought it was okay. If you hated it, you know. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, so, Sunday is going to be my next video. Um, and um, it's hopefully that will they'll be good. And then it'll be the last one before I change the set. So, to, to Thanksgiving. So, But in the meantime, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. And most importantly, spread the love. Skull.